What's up guys and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. You guys have probably seen this game before. This is Subnautica. So it came out, I believe the full release was sometime late 2018, maybe early 2018. And uh, I think the beta version of the game was actually released in like 2014-ish. But uh, nonetheless, it's still a great game. It looks like a couple of people are still sort of searching around for it. Hopefully you guys uh, aren't too sick of this game already and uh, hopefully we can have a pretty long-standing series here on the channel But without any further ado, let's go ahead click play here and we will jump right into it So we have a couple of options here. We can do survival freedom hardcore or creative Obviously creative you don't have to worry about food water health oxygen any of that and uh, Hardcore mode literally would be if you die you die. That's it. That's the end of the game so I don't think we're going to do that because I'm not super confident in my survival abilities. So I think we're going to go to survival here. And uh, let's take a look here. So it looks like we sort of crash land on this mysterious planet from an alien ship. So I don't know if we're necessarily human or not. But this should be pretty interesting. Press any button to continue. Unknown Worlds Entertainment presents... Okay, this doesn't sound too good. Got, like, an alarm going off in the... Oh, my God. Okay. Liftoff, baby. And explosion. Sick. <laughs> All right. So that was what I guess we flew in on, and it just completely exploded. Got a fire extinguisher. Uh-oh. Okay, this does not look good for us. Oh, uh, what? Just out cold. Okay, and there's a fire over there. Dude, get out of the chair. Having a little trouble opening that. Okay. The fire rises. Let's grab our let's grab our fire extinguisher here. We'll spray out this fire quick. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, still going on. Okay, sweet. Well, we got the fire put out, that's good news. Got like a tablet? Pretty used to using a tablet from uh, both House Flipper and Car Mechanic Sim, so this should be uh, pretty familiar. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. Considered an this optimal PDA outcome? Is now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive, to keep you alive. On an alien world. So it is Please alien. Refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Press tab to open or close the PDA. Okay, that's kind of nice. Voice log. That's I think that's what we just listened to. Photo manager, beacon manager. So we have our life pod there. Basic materials, titanium, electronics, water. That's going to be important. And a couple of other items in here. So what do we do first, dude? Obviously, all this stuff's damaged. Use repair tool, use repair tool. So we're going to have to make a repair tool. Test failed, systems offline, radio offline. So everything is offline. We have some solar cells here. That's going to give us our power. So we have about 75 bars of power, I guess, from solar. Let's go ahead and head up top here. What the hell is that? Oh my god, dude. And we just we just whip out our fire extinguisher. What? All right. The Aurora suffered orbital. Pulsing. The Aurora. So that's that. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Zero. So everyone's dead except for us. I feel like it. It would probably detect us, right? At the very least. Well, we have some like coral reef around here. Something clear out there. Let's just, let's just go for a swim. See what life's like underwater. Okay, so we have oxygen to worry about. We have food, water, and health. The health is looking pretty good, so we, we don't have to worry about that yet. But this is really pretty. Break limestone. Okay, so we get, what was that, titanium? We get titanium from breaking rocks. Got some, like, tube-looking things over here. Acid mushrooms. Pick up some acid mushrooms. Swim to the surface. Okay, so we definitely have to keep an eye on our oxygen. We only have 
45. I don't know if it goes down every second. It goes down by three. Okay, got our life pot up there. Let's do a little explore in here. Metal salvage. Pick up some metal salvage, that could be useful. Dude, this is sweet. This looks super cool. Okay, and we got some fish around here. What is that? Bladder fish? And what are you called? A peeper? Is that what that said? A peeper. Whoops. I was not paying attention there. Okay, so I don't know what we need to do first. Like, what? what's the objective here? Obviously, we have to survive, but what all do we need in order to survive is my question. I guess we can just sort of swim around and, and explore and try to pick up as many materials as possible. Got some bubbles over here. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, I'm not 100% that that thing's not going to kill us, so I'm just going to stay away from him for now. There was something over here, like an outcrop thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Metal salvage. Probably use that. Okay, he looks scary. Let's just go through here. I think we should probably head back to our life pod and sort of get familiarized, maybe, with uh, with everything on board here. It looks like we can enter from below or from above. Let's just go below here. Okay, still no power, so we definitely have to make that repair tool. Storage container. Got a nutrient block. That's going to be some food for us. Two flares and filtered water. Okay. We're doing, uh, we're doing poorly on food, so I'm going to go ahead and take out a nutrient block. We'll open up our tablet. We should be able to consume that. There we go. That puts us at 114. Fabricator. What is this? Basic materials. Titanium. Oh, okay. You get titanium from metal salvage. And I think we got like two, maybe three of those. So let's just make some titanium. Take up less space in the inventory. There we go. We can make a titanium ingot. I don't think we want to do that yet. That takes 10 titanium. That, well, that would definitely sort of condense our uh, inventory down. But I don't think you can break it apart from a titanium ingot back into titanium. Down here we have personal equipment, standard O2 tank. Do we even have an O2 tank yet? We don't. So we got sort of our, our fit right here. Got the fit check. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure, cause unknown zero. Okay, so we already heard that. Well, let's see. How do we make the repair tool? We need silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Titanium we do have, but we don't have the other two. What do you use acid mushrooms for? It's got to be something in here. Standard O2 tank. Oh, okay. We could make that. Let's make a standard O2 tank. There we go. We're going to need one to make a, an upgraded one anyways. We'll go ahead and throw that on. Gave us a blueprint. All right. It, does that go on our person then? It does. Okay, sweet. So we got that figured out. That's good. At least we can stay underwater a little longer. Went from 45 to 75. What else can we make? That's going to unlock the high capacity O2 tank. We need two glass, silver, titanium, and then the standard tank. Floating air pump and pipes. Okay. Deployables. Got a waterproof locker, mobile vehicle bay, and a sea glide. And then we have sustenance, which is water, electronics, copper wire, battery. Oh, acid mushroom. So we use acid mushroom for the batteries, but we need to find some copper, computer chip. Let's do a little bit more exploration here and see if we can't find anything else. We'll go, oh, Jesus. We'll go out through the bottom here. What are you called? Doesn't even give me a name on that thing. Let's head... Shoot, I, I'm gonna get super disoriented here. We gotta, so the Aurora's there. If we go this direction, I just wanna, I just wanna like familiarize myself with the area that we're kind of in. But we have to find some copper. Here we go. Copper right copper there, sweet. Essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely. Unlikely but plausible. There we go. That's inspiring. No idea what that thing is. A creature egg. Okay. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. 
Okay, so we need sulfur to make the repair tool. We're gonna run out of oxygen here in a second, so I'm gonna head back up to the surface here quick. And we can head back in. I wanna explore this cave, dude. Got some purple lights in here from the acid mushrooms. Picked up some quartz. I think you use quartz to make glass. So that's probably pretty important. What is this? More copper. Okay. Can't ever have too much copper. Got another creature egg right there. I'll take that. I don't know what we use the creature eggs for, but I'm sure they, they could probably come in handy. Get some more quartz there. All right, now where do we go from here? We're gonna have to surface again. We need a little bit more oxygen. God, this is cool, dude. This is a really, really cool game. Got the sun going down. Got another planet over there. And like the world spins even. All the planets and everything surrounding us actually rotate. That's pretty sweet. Got more acid mushrooms there. So we can at least make a battery. Let's head back to the life pod. And uh, we'll make ourselves a battery here. I, I would assume you need batteries for like the, the repair tool or what was the other thing? Electronics, battery, two acid mushrooms, and a copper. Let's we'll make a battery there quick. All right, power cell. Titanium ingot, glass. We can make glass with our quartz. Tools, scanner. Titanium and a battery. I guess let's just make a scanner. Might as well. Maybe that'll help us sort of figure out other blueprints. Yeah, there we go. From salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Okay, so we can use the scanner to scan fish. Self-scan with F. Self-scan complete. Vital signs Vital normal. Signs okay. Normal. Let's head down here and we can like scan some wildlife. Or some aquatic life, I guess. That's a rabbit ray. We can scan the mushrooms. There we go. Writhing. Writhing weed, is that how you say that? Giant coral tubes. Okay. So basically, if we just scan everything, we'll be able to learn about the environment that we're in and hopefully that'll unlock some new blueprints for us. Where are you? A boomerang? Kind of looks like a boomerang. What is that? Oh, that's a peeper. We haven't scanned a peeper yet. Come here. Where'd he go? What is this? A Gary fish? We're gonna be friends, bud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch so many of you later on. Got a bladder fish over here. And more boomerangs. There's a peeper. We can scan this peeper. They're like all sleeping right here or something. Let's grab a peeper and a bladder fish. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Okay. So she said, I don't know who the voice is really. Maybe just like our AI, like our little helper lady. But she said basically that we can use these in, she said, like, surprising results. I don't know what that means, but I know there's a sustenance tab here. Cooked food. So we can cook bladder fish, low calorie count, or we can cook peeper. Let's cook a peeper. High nutrients. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Sustained during planet four. Okay. Fabricator cooks. I keep wanting to read it, but she's just going to read it for us. Okay, so we are supposed to cook the food in here. We can make water from bladder fish. I guess let's make a water. We're going to need some, some water here. There we go. Open up our little tablet. And we don't need to eat just yet. Let's consume some water. That's going to bring us up to 67. I think we should probably, the creature eggs are probably going to be later on in the game, I would I would imagine. An unidentified egg, so we'll just put those over in the storage area for now. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's do it, let's do a little bit more exploring. It looks like it's about daytime again. There we go, sun's coming out. Really, really quick days here on whatever this planet is. So what we need to find now is cave sulfur. And what was the other thing that we needed? Let's head up. Head up top so we can at least breathe again. We needed cave sulfur and something else to make the repair tool. 
Silicone rubber. So we have to find something that's gonna let us like make rubber, I guess. What are those? The areas that get really dark sort of freak me out because I know something's gonna be lurking down there just waiting to kill us. Got some boomerangs, some peepers over here. There's something. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna stay up high. Maybe we'll come to this one over here. Sort of check it out. Let's get our scanner out. We can scan this thing. See what it see what it's all about. A creep vine. Go ahead and scan that. Indigenous life forms creep vine. And there's like a light source coming from the base of them. But I'm super nervous. I feel like we're gonna get got if we go in there too far. Let's go over here. This one looks kind of high up, maybe. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Oh, we can pick up. Okay, so we can pick up creep vine clusters, seed clusters. All right, we're getting pretty far away from our uh, life pod over here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head back. We'll take our creep vine into our life pod here and see what we can make with it. It looked like it took up quite a bit of our inventory. Yeah, actually. Let's make some more titanium with that metal salvage that we found out there. And let's see. Silicone. Okay, sweet. So the stuff that we were looking for, creep vine seed clusters make silicone. So we're going to need some of that. We'll go ahead and just make one of those. I don't know how many we're going to need for... Oh, we can make a survival knife. Screw it. Let's make that. We're probably going to need it at some point. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. Abraxas the Prime. The only exception. Okay. So we, uh, with the only weapon that we're going to have, it sounds like, is going to be a survival knife. That's interesting. So we still need to find cave sulfur, but we have silicone rubber now, so we can at least... We're a little bit closer. Let's check our inventory one more time. So we can use this to make silicone. I think there's something else that we can make with it too. Lubricant. We'll make a lube. Who doesn't love a good bottle of lube, right? Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Okay, so you do actually use lube for something. I just wanted it for the lulls, man. Okay, so we, Jesus. I need to just switch to my knife or something. We need to find some cave sulfur, and there is a cave. Actually, there's quite a big cave system over here, so let's go sort of venture on into here. We have plenty of oxygen now. We should be able to... What is this? Table coral. Oh! We need this for the computer chip. Can we, like... Oh, you can break it. Oh, what? You can break it up? There we go. Got some table coral. Let's get some air quick before we venture on into the cave system here. I would assume you find cave sulfur in a cave, right? That's that's almost common sense. Oh, dude, this stuff bugs the crap out of me. I have that that weird phobia of like holes that are super close together. Woo, buddy. I'm not feeling that. We get some more quartz. Why not? And we got quartz up here. Got a limestone outcrop. Some titanium. Oh, oh, okay, okay. He does not sound good. Let's just swim away. Swim away, and... Did he... Dude, are, is that a kamikaze fish? Okay, that's like a little kamikaze fish. We're gonna have to watch out for those guys. Got 30 seconds left in our oxygen. I gotta get my scanner out. We can scan this. Veined nettle. Okay. And we got... Oh, cave sulfur! Sweet! There's a sulfur plant. Wait a minute. Can we plant stuff? Oh god, oh god, we're gonna die, dude. We're gonna die. Go, 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 go. Swim, swim, swim. Oh god, we're blacking out. No, don't die. Oh, oh no, what happens now? We got got. Oh, we just respawn? And lost some belongings? Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't notice anything missing. I think we actually still have everything that we quote unquote lost, so whatever. Doing all right. Let's make, now that we have, let's see, was it tools? There we go, repair tool. Multi-purpose repair tool, functional in all environments. So we can use it underwater even, that's super cool. 
And now that we have that, we should be able to repair this. Okay. It's like a welder. Like a plasma cutter welder type of thing. Awesome. Okay, sweet. So we have... We got power back up. Oh, what? I didn't even know we had that. Got a medical kit over there. Okay. And then we have to repair the radio, of course. And play message. What? Dude, that's a long time, bro. What? Did it seriously just say that? We have like... How long do we actually have to survive out here? I figured this was gonna be like... We'll do a couple episodes on it and, that, and that'll be it. I don't wanna have to survive out here forever, dude. Okay, well, I mean... Now that we have the repair tool, we have power back online, which is nice. But does that let us do anything new? It doesn't really look like it. Let's do another self-scan quick. After we got got. Okay, scanning normal. Perfect. And then we had food. Let's eat Let's eat a cooked peeper here. Cooked peeper. There we go. Got a little food in us. And we're gonna need we're gonna need actually a couple more peepers. So let's grab let's grab a couple more of these little guys down here. Grab you. And grab your brother over here. Oh, that's a Gary fish. Yeah, let's grab a Gary fish. Actually, let's grab a boomerang too. I uh, I wonder if you can cook these. Head back up to our life pod here, and we'll see what you can use a Gary fish and a boomerang for. Sustenance, cooked food. Oh, you can. Floral flavor, but very little of it. Okay. We'll cook a Gary fish. Oh, that's a big boy. Cooked boomerang. You can too. Well, duh. Oh, wait, and we have a peeper. Let's cook a peeper. Cooked peeper. Okay, so we can actually use more fish around the area for sustenance than I originally thought. I figured it was just peepers. There we go. The peeper is going to put us up to 97, so we don't really have to eat any of these. Looks like Gary fish aren't really that good they give us more water though speaking of water we're at 79 so we're gonna need some more water here soon let's make the other oxygen tank if we can we need two glass and a silver we don't have silver but we can at least make two glass there's one and two oh we just need two silicone rubber and we can make fins 15 percent faster okay Standard oxygen tank and silver ore. So we need silver and we need some more creep vines so we can make... Oh, wait, no, we have creep vine. But I think we, I don't think we have enough. This makes two... Oh, yeah, this makes two silicone. There we go. And then let's go back to personal tools. No, equipment. Fins. There we go. Sweet. So we got some new fins. Awesome. Using locally available materials. For okay. your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Oh. So it actually it has like a power level. We're at 42 out of 75 now. That's what that's what the solar power is for. So we've only used almost a whole solar cell. So we're not doing too bad. I think we're I think we're doing alright. Let's uh let's get our knife out here, if it'll let me scroll to it. We'll do a little bit more exploring now that we can move a little faster. Maybe we can outrun those uh, little cave dudes. I, I don't even know what those guys are. We're going to need a couple bladder fish too. Our, our water's starting to go down. I don't want to pick all of the metal salvage up because I feel like... Okay, there's a spooky boy. Let's just, let's just keep heading this way. But I don't want to use all of the metal salvage because I feel like we don't need that much titanium right out the gate. Have we been here before? Doesn't look familiar. Got some quartz over here. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. Swim, 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 swim. Oh, dude. That is so stressful. Okay, yeah. He just straight exploded. And, uh, oh, table coral. Yeah, we'll take that. Exploded some, some coral for us. Kind of nice of him. All right. Let's go back in here. And if 
from where he came out. We can grab his sulfur. That's nice. So this said it was a plant earlier. So I wonder if we can actually plant things and, and just grow that stuff instead of having to sort of hunt for it in the cave systems here. Break that. Oh, we can get giant coral tube samples. We're going to run out of oxygen again. I'm really trying to be more cautious of that because we literally have... We died already. Like that... We haven't even been playing that long here, and we already got got. Got some more. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, God, that scared the sh... Oh, and there's another one. Okay, just go. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Uh, we need out of here, dude. Wow. Okay, I thought, I thought we were going to die again, to be honest. Since it's nighttime, I think we're just going to head back into the life pod here. And uh, we'll, we'll sort of get our bearings a little bit. Make some water. Got to get our water levels up again. All right. So sustenance, water, filtered water. There we go. There's no reason we need all that titanium in there. Odds are we're going to come back with even more. So let's head back down here. And uh, we'll try to find that, uh, that cave system that we were in before. Oh, what is it? Radio message? Okay, okay. Grab some more quartz here. We got a radio message quick. And honestly, I don't notice a whole lot, like, faster swimming with the addition of the fins, but I'm sure it probably does something. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Rendezvous? Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. What's she talking about, rendezvous? Signal location uploaded to PDA. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So what? We have, like, their location now? Oh. Life pod 3 in the shallows. Okay, so we could... We could go there. Should we just... I mean, I guess. It's about to be daytime, so let's just head over there. We're gonna have to swim the whole way, but we might as well. Got nothing else going on. Here we go. Life pod 3. Oh, that doesn't look good, dude. That doesn't look good at all. Something like straight... Oh, crap. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, dude, something's trying to get us right now. Let's see. What can we take from here? Data box. A compass. Okay. Abandoned PDA. Oh, no, dude. They got got. They're donezo. Fabricator. So nothing under here works. Can't even get out the top. Is there supposed to be, like, stuff around here? I'm really scared. Sea glide fragment. Oh, can we scan that? Okay. So we got one of two. There's got to be another sea glide fragment around here that we can take. There's a spooky boy over there. We're going to we're gonna stay away from him. What is this? Mobile vehicle bay fragment? Oh, crap, dude. He looks terrifying. Don't even come over here, dude. Just just stay in your lane, bro. Let's swim down quick, and we'll uh, we'll s hopefully there's something in this box. That's where we found the the mobile vehicle bay fragment in one of these. And there we go. We got another one. Sweet. So that's two of three, and we have a wreck. Probably just part of our ship that got tossed out. Head back up here, grab some oxygen. We'll go back down. There's a spooky boy there, so we'll just ignore him. Can we get inside of this thing? God, this is probably where a flashlight would be super helpful. Oh, we've got tons of stuff in here, dude. A desk. Scan the desk. We got a swivel chair. I think this is just for, like, decorating our our base once we build that. We don't have a whole lot of grav trap. We don't have a whole lot of time down here, so I'm just going to try to scan everything. And uh, we'll get out of here. There we go. Nothing there. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left of oxygen. Whoa, what the hell? What was that? All right, let's just head out. Got something on the side here. Bioreactor? Okay, sure. I don't know what that means, but maybe that'll come in handy. Got another bioreactor fragment. All right. Oh, sweet. So we just, we just have that blueprint now. We can just make that. I feel like we're here pretty early. I don't think this is a place that we should probably have gone. But, I mean, we're already here. We might as well scan everything that we can and sort of learn about uh, 
Whatever's down here. Okay, I think we should just head back. I feel like we probably got enough research here to uh, to at least make something else. I don't know what yet, but we'll head on back to our life pod and, and see what we can do now. Okay, take a look in our fabricator and we can make a fiber mesh. That might come in handy. Compass, there we go. So we, we sort of unlocked that. I don't remember if we scanned that or, or how we got it. Displays compass heading on the HUD, HUD, whatever you want to say there. Waterproof locker, that's nothing new. Grav trap, that is new. Uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. Okay. And then, of course, we have the sea glide, but we only have one of those fragments, and I think we have two out of three for the mobile vehicle bay. I think that's probably a good place to sort of end things off for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.